Hello all and welcome to the next installment of the Sweet Dash Academy. My name is Taylor and today we're going to wrap our heads around the powerful and often underrated feature, circles. Even if you've only spent five minutes inside of a Sweet Dash portal, you have some concept or idea about what circles are. When I first began, my initial thought was they were a simple way to segment or organize your contacts. While that is true, if we stop there with our understanding, then we are only utilizing 10% of the feature. Kind of like how much we actually use our brains on a daily basis. By definition, circles are Sweet Dash's dynamic group permissioning structure. Now, removing the tech jargon, you as the business owner are able to assign permission to access things like dashboards, menu items, file folders, and more to a particular circle, and this helps you pre-create a cohesive experience or process around that circle instead of around an individual contact in your CRM. Then you are able to grant or deny the access to that entire experience or process in just one action by adding or removing a contact from that circle. Honestly, it's a lot like attending a concert. For example, I was recently at a Rolling Stone show and because I'm not Elon Musk, I enjoyed the evening from the nosebleeds. My almost in the parking lot wristband meant that I only had access to the upper, upper deck. Had I attempted to sneak into the VIP section, I would have been promptly shown the exit door. Now, on the other hand, had some lovely concert goer gifted me their VIP wristband, the security guys would have let me right through. They wouldn't need to ask my name, they would just let me in because I had the right wristband. And that wristband was the permission that I needed to go hang out with Elon. Now, like they say, it's all about who you know. Now, let's see that from the perspective of your Sweet Dash portal. Here I have a contact that has been placed into a circle entitled Circle X. As a super admin, I created a shared folder called Sweet Dash Brand Assets, which is what we're looking at right now, and only granted access to those inside of Circle X. Therefore, our contact has permission to access the folder and the contents inside of this folder. But if we were to remove the contact from Circle X, they would no longer be able to access the file. Actually, better yet, they wouldn't even know the shared folder exists anymore. And these changes happen instantaneously. Before moving forward, let's dispel some myths that have been circulating. <laughs> Number one, people in the same circle cannot somehow message or chat one another. Number two, builds on that logic, people in the same circle are kept separate. They don't know the other exists. And finally, number three, contacts can be in multiple circles at once. In fact, you'll find using multiple circles to control various access and even menu visibility is a very powerful strategy. All right, I think this is starting to land, so let's set one up together and then get to the good stuff. To set one up, first navigate to the circles page by clicking CRM on your left side menu, and then circles. From here, click on add circle. Remember, fresh out of the box, your Sweet Dash portal already has two circles created, all clients and all prospects, so no need to create those again. Now, let's give our new circle a name, a quick description, and before we finish out this process, I'm going to take a pit stop on our brand new custom field categories. Simply put, linking a circle to one of these custom field categories will help clean up the potentially overwhelming amount of custom fields that can litter the look of a contacts dashboard. Now, I want to get visual with this concept, so bookmark this in your brain because we're going to circle back. Yep, I heard it too, before we wrap up. Now, have some fun and change the color if you'd like, and take note of these two automation options that may come in handy at some point down the road. Now that we know how to create a circle, Let's take a look at how to add contacts to a circle. Now, my favorite way is to start within the circle. And from here, I like to drag and drop the contacts in. 
And if you ever need to know who's been left out, simply search the contact by name. Want to move quicker? Use the bulk assign unassign button. From here, you can simply add people in or take them away. Just don't forget to scroll down and click update before you leave the page. Another manual way to add a contact to a circle is through their dashboard. Simply select the circle from the dropdown and add it. Here at Sweet Dash, if a process can be automated, we're gonna make it happen. So let me show you a few ways in which you can use our no-code automations to accomplish adding or removing contacts from circles throughout the platform. When setting up a kickoff form, go ahead and assign where incoming clients or prospects will land. Again, don't be afraid to add multiple circles here. When it's time to configure a triggered action, use the add or remove automation to change a contact's circle affiliation. We'll touch on this in a moment, but this can be especially powerful in conjunction with portal pages. Lastly, don't forget to utilize the circles list when importing contacts via a CSV file. Okay, I've been waiting for this moment. Portal pages and circles are like peanut butter and chocolate. Both are great on their own, but pure dynamite when used together. So let's get our brain juices flowing by looking at the most common use case for circles, and that's the assignment of a start page. I grabbed this awesome looking portal page from the ever-growing Sweet Dash template library, which brings up a great sidebar. Make a mental note to check in on the template library from time to time. You're sure to be impressed. Now, behind the scenes, I granted the travel circle access to this page and assigned it as the start page. So what that means is for anyone affiliated with the travel circle, this will be the first thing they see when they log in. Now let's check it out real quick. I'm creating a new test client so we can see the onboarding journey together. So welcome to the show, Miss Cecilia Circles. And I'll say that five times fast. Let's make sure not to forget the most important part, which is assigning Cecilia to the travel circle. Now that our new contact is created, let's hop over to the email she will receive. Cecilia can click either link to finalize her credentials. After clicking the link in her email, she'll finish off this process by creating a password. And boom! Just like we planned, there's our beautiful portal page ready to welcome and greet all users affiliated with the Travel Circle. Now take a moment and imagine all that you could accomplish by assigning different start pages to your various circles. And if that didn't blow your mind enough, this will. Think about how you could use the triggered actions of adding and removing contacts from one circle to another and how those no-code automations could alter and guide your user's experience as they move about the portal. I'll pause so you can grab your jaw off the floor. All right, the moment is over, so let's move on. We've even found a way to harness the power of circles when deciding what your contacts can see and click on their main navigation. For example, if you only want certain circles to be able to check out their billing information, just toggle the switch and make your selections. And what about when it's time to send out invoices to let's say a hundred different people? Circles for the win again. In this example, let's pretend we handle the web hosting fees for a hundred different clients. All you have to do is group them into a circle, check this box when creating a new invoice, and make your selection. In this instance, assigning a circle will generate a hundred individual invoices for each user in that circle once you save. Can you feel that? I sure can. We're saving so much time with the use of circles that we'll need to start scheduling more happy hour outings just to fill our time. 
Okay, okay. We're about out of time on this one, so let's bring the heart rate down and finish off with a final note. Do you have a long list of contacts in your CRM? Well, circles can be quite useful when you need to narrow down your search. Make sure that you're in list view, click on filter, and use your trusty circles to help get the job done. And just like you've seen before, you don't have to stop at just one. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Remember earlier when I asked you to bookmark our new custom field categories in your brain? Let's touch on that now. If you're like me, I have created quite a number of custom fields the more I work inside my portal. But most of the time, I don't need to see all of them displayed for each individual user. You see what I mean? This has become a bit hectic. So we've created a new way to help you clean this up. To start this organization out, head on up to your flyout menu and select categories. Scroll down and click on custom fields for CRM contacts. And then from there, add a category. Now I'm about to go on vacation, so that's all my brain can think about these days. With that in mind, let's call this category travel. Now let's go test this out with a new custom field. So let's go ahead and click on add custom field. Once the modal appears, we will give this custom field a name and then drop in a quick description. Under usage, select CRM contacts. Now note, this is the only way we can get the categories field to appear. Let's select our newly created custom field category, and then we'll finish the process like you normally would. Now we have a new custom field and it's linked to a category. Stick with me because we're about to land this plane. Now when you create or edit a circle, you can select to link it to a category. Let's take a look at a random contacts dashboard to finally see how this all strings together. Now, as we scroll down to the bottom, note that we do not see the new custom field we just created together. Why? Because it's linked to a circle that our contact is not affiliated with. So as we scroll up, let's add our contact to the travel circle. And now that we've added our contact to the associated circle, we will see that custom field appear. So drum roll, please. Ta-da! Man, just think of how much you can accomplish or organize by putting this logic to use. Well, that's it. We've done it. I'm confident that you now have the complete understanding that circles are absolutely key in finding success with your Sweet Dash portal. The possibilities are endless from here. And we're eager to see the ways in which you utilize this fundamental and fantastic feature. I hate to say goodbye, but it's time to shut this one down. My name is Taylor, and I'll see you next time, sweet mates.